Hey, how you doing Facebook Live? Martin Lopez from the Curiosity Theory and um, this is day three of my 31 day challenge and the cool thing is I've been waking up in the morning and writing, uh, doing a lot of writing after my meditation and this morning a memory came up um, of me in high school. I don't know if you know it, my son Jordan is just about to graduate in a couple weeks from high school so we're excited about that. And when I graduated, I was 17. He's going to be 18, almost 19 when he graduates. So um, <clears throat> I was quite a bit younger than he was. And um, at the end of my high school career was really, the, I think, the first time I decided to get real serious about my life. Um, I was, like I said, I was graduating from high school. I got accepted to San Diego State University, super excited. I was going to the big leagues, and I was really, really proud of myself. And I remember... Um, uh, that I loved, I loved music back then, and I loved psychology. And so my goal was, uh, my goal was to go to school to study psychology, and then um, also work on music as well. So I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to play jazz, but at the same time, I knew I wanted a career in psychology or, you know, being a, a um, you know, a therapist or something like that. So I was excited. I filled out all my paperwork, got everything filled out, and then I remember going on registration day, and it was a late registration because I, I got accepted after the first, you know, after the first uh, group of people. So um, school was just about to start. I, I remember outside there was a big table, registration table, and I remember walking up to the table really proud, really excited. There was a lot of other kids right there and handed the, um, the registrar my, my paperwork. And everything looked like it was in order. And I remember she looked up at me and said, um, are you missing, you know, are you forgetting something? And I was like, nah, what are you talking about? And she's like, the money. And this is how naive I was. Um, I thought school was free. Um, so I thought, you know, because high school was free and all that. So I thought that college was free. And, um, and I didn't have the money. I didn't come prepared uh, with any money. So I went home. And um, I went home, and, and that afternoon, my dad came home from work, and I remember telling my dad, hey, I went to register today for, for, um, for college, and they said I got to pay, and I need like 500 bucks. And I remember what he said to me. Um, he said, I'm not giving you any money for school because all you do is screw around. And I don't remember much that happened after that, um, but I do remember how I felt. I mean, I was, I was absolutely devastated. I was completely discouraged. I was really sad. I was really, really sad. And I was disappointed. And I think kind of the worst part about what he said was there was some truth to that. Like I had screwed around a lot. And that was my past. But I had a new outlook. And I graduated from school. I was, I was excited about, you know, my next, what I was going to do. And I, and I was really looking at a future that was based on my uh, on some dreams that I had, and I and I was clear what I wanted, um, and I just needed the money to go to school. And he said, "No, I'm not going to do that. You're just going to screw around." And like I said, I was really disappointed, and um, so I didn't end up going to San Diego State. I I um, and I and I didn't know that there was student aid. It was a year or so later when my friend went to school, and. Um, I knew that they didn't have any money and he went and I remember him telling me how he's getting student aid and this and that and by that time I was like working already and, and it was just like, I, you know, it was just, I was, I just felt like so, you know, discouraged that I didn't want to go back. I was just really, really upset and um, I think it was, I think it was like I was just short-sighted. I, I didn't understand. I, I, I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have somebody to, to tell me, to guide me. And, you know, maybe I was just kind of like hard-headed myself and I wasn't, I wasn't asking for help. Um, but what was missing for me um, was curiosity and I didn't know it at that time. And, uh, you know, although I used curiosity like, you know, for, for, for so much of my life, um, you know, kind of by accident, I never knew how to apply curiosity um, on purpose. And I think that, um, that it took me about 30 years um, to discover curiosity, to really discover curiosity. And ironically, I wrote a book called The Curiosity Theory, and the, the subtitle is um, A Path from Conflict to Resolution. So I didn't know how to resolve the stuff when I was young. Um, and, and I think the, 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 the part that, that that really bothered me the most, the part that's really bothered me the most is when I look back um, on my life, um, how maybe how hardhead I was and how um, I just didn't know. I just, I simply didn't know. I wasn't taught this stuff. And so um, now 
um, I'm able to kind of like go back and um, now in my life I'm able to like go back and and, and resolve these things um, you know you through curiosity through meditation through journaling and all that and um, it's really really made a huge difference in my life so um, you know it's just a curiosity is just it's a safe respectable um, um, place to to source yourself you know without judgment because when you when you apply curiosity you you don't you're, you're not you're not judging you're not blaming people you're not complaining about something you're really you're just being curious and you're being open-minded and um and, and i think that 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 is what has um been the, the saving grace for me over these last few years is going through what i've gone through um, you know, in business, my personal life and all that with my kids and all that and, and just being able to to be able to be curious and have that standpoint and be curious versus like just being devastated on some of the stuff that's happened and um, and, and being able to look and, and take ownership for like, where, you know, where, where did I make choices that, that impacted my myself and that impacted other people with and then look at those without judgment, without blame, without complaint, but just look at them curiously and say, okay, this is this is how I need to this is how I need to shift my life. This is how I need to shift the things I was doing, um, because I think up until just you know a few years ago, I've been very very focused on me and I wanted to get me and you know I want to get for me what I want for me and don't get in my way because uh, I'm focused on that and um, and how I've served people is really truly wanting to serve people. But I think there's been like a, um, a degree of, of, you know, it's all for me. And now it's, it's, it's more of like a true wanting to be of service and, and, and to, and to be more vulnerable and to be more authentic. And, um, that's why I'm doing the Facebook live because, because it's the opportunity. It's the, it's an opportunity to be more authentic, more connected and, and really more revealing. And my hope is that what, what people will see is that, is that that's the channel for curiosity and that's a channel that we can use curiosity in to be that, to be more, more authentic and be more vulnerable and start telling our truths. Uh, you know, a lot of times I think about, you know, Facebook, there's everybody's kind of like telling their really good stories, you know, like, like, how can I look good? I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Like, look at me, look at me and all this greatness. But, um, you know, there's, a few people out there that are willing to be um, vulnerable and honest and say, hey, listen, I'm having a tough time. And I'll tell you something, I am having a tough time. This has been one of the toughest years that I've had in a long time. You know, I've got two teenagers, they're great kids, uh, but they're a challenge. And uh, I'm gonna be married 20 years in, in just a in, in just a, a couple weeks. And, and you know, if you're married, I mean, it's, it's it, it takes a lot, it's a lot of work. And, and so, you know, I've got a, I've got a great wife. I've got a great family, and you know, I'm the one that that I'm the one. This is the guy right here, not them. This is the guy that that needs the work. This is the guy that um, that needs to um, share himself more authentically. To um, you know, to to get out of um, my own way um, and and get back um, in conversations and and deal with um, with having conversations that are a little bit more difficult to have. And the curiosity theory is is what I preach. That's I, what I say is like, you know, be curious, be open. And sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm totally closed off. And and I think that's probably why I wrote the book, you know, because they say, you know, you write the book, which is the thing you're trying to get for yourself. And I'd say curiosity clearly is 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 my biggest, is, is kind of like the, the thing I do most, but it's also like my biggest challenge. So, um, you know, my, my journey and, and my goal is to, is to live the life of curiosity and then also um, and share that and then um, support people in living a curious lifestyle and then going through what they need to go through with being curious so that they can get through the things and they can accomplish the, what, they wanna, what they wanna accomplish in life, be it in business or be it in their personal life. So um, that's kind of what I wanted to share. And, and the last thing I want to leave you with, there's two things. A few days ago, I read a book and there was a quote and I, and I did a meme on, I think, Instagram. And, the, the, and I'm going to read this. Um, <clears throat> it says, at the end of our lives, we won't, we won't regret what we did. We will regret what we did not do. And um, so I thought about that. I thought to myself, you know, do something worthy. Do something worthy of your life. Martine, you've been here for 53 years. Do something worthy of your life. Be a good father, be a good husband, good, be a good friend, and and be worthy. And that's what I'm that's what my goal is, is to be worthy of of of, of my life. 
uh, my life's a gift and um, I've taken it for granted and um, there's people out there that I've taken for granted and um, that's not what I want to do anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. And um, I see that, um, not just in myself, but in other relationships. So I thought to myself, you know, do something worthy of, of your life. And um, in the words of, a, of, of my good friend, Jamie Lula, um, what I've seen is that he's got a song and one of the lyrics in his song is, is I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. And that's the way I feel about my life. I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. And I want to leave you with this. Stay curious. Have, um, I just have a great night and have a great week. And I'll see you tomorrow. Um, this is day three of my 31 day challenge. And if this has touched you, if this has made a difference, please comment below, please share. Um, and if there's anything I can do for you, please reach out and let me know. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.